E-Learning Jamaica Limited, in association with the Ministry of Education and Z Jamaica Limited, present a series of e-learning videos geared towards preparing students for CXC examinations. This series focuses on information technology and highlights areas considered most challenging to our students. There are 11 videos, each lasting approximately 20 minutes. Your narrator, Michael Anthony Cuff. Data Communication Learning Outcomes At the end of this section, you should be able to Define Data Communications List the components of communication Define each component of communication What is Data Communications? Data communications is much like regular communication among people, which consists of the following parts. Message, sender, medium, and receiver. It involves the sender, which is the person who has the idea or message, and usually begins the conversation. A message, which is the information or idea to be shared. A medium, which is the method or channel used to transfer the message. And the receiver, which is the person for whom the message is intended. The difference between the human communication model above and that of the data communication is the addition of protocol. Protocol is the directives that are entered by the user or a system administrator into the communication software before any communication can occur between computers on a network such as the Internet. The amount of data that can be communicated or sent at any time over the network is regulated by the bandwidth, which is predetermined by your Internet provider. A bandwidth is the pathway that data uses for one computer to communicate to the other. It determines the volume of information that can be transmitted. It is measured in bits per second, BPS. The bandwidth consists of many broadband channels which determine the speed of the data being sent, which is often measured in characters per second, CPS. The greater the bandwidth, the larger the information that can be transmitted. Just like a roadway, the more lanes you have, the greater the amount of traffic that can be accommodated. So a large bandwidth is like Highway 2000 with multiple lanes allowing more vehicles to pass more quickly, while a small bandwidth is much like your local roads with one or two lanes allowing few vehicles to use it at any one time, therefore it moves slower. The cost of Internet packages are determined by the bandwidth. The cable or wire selected for networking by the Internet provider determines both the bandwidth and the broadband channel available to the user. In other words, the type of cable selected affects the amount and speed of the data to be sent. Here are some of the ways of connecting or networking computers for communication. 1. Wires The wires may be coaxial cables or fiber optic cables. 
Coaxial cables, which are similar to the ones used by some cable providers to transmit a signal to your television set. Fiber optic cables presently used by phone companies to give clear transmission of voice and pictures. Companies like Flow are currently replacing coaxial cables with fiber optic cables, which offer superior speed and quality. 2. Wireless Wireless technology uses satellites located in outer space to send information to other computers using microwave links. This mode of data transmission is used by cell phone companies to send or receive data which is relayed by strategically located transmission towers. Let's review. Data communication consists of the following parts. Message, sender, receiver, medium, and protocol. Protocol is the directives that are entered by the user or a system administrator into the communication software before any communication can occur between computers on a network. Bandwidth is the pathway that data uses for one computer to communicate to the other. It determines the volume of information that can be transmitted. It is measured in bits per second, BPS. It is made up of many broadband channels. Broadband determines the speed of the data being sent. It is measured in characters per second, CPS. Some of the ways of networking computer for communications are wires, wireless. The wires may be coaxial cables or fiber optic cables. Wireless technology uses satellites located in outer space to send information to other computers using microwave links.